Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Go Kick Me, your favorite crowdfunding news and reviews channel here on YouTube. So today we have a Indiegogo project, a little bit unique. This one is not a tech product, it is hypothetically like a linguistics thing. Save Islenska, save, help save Icelandic language from extinction. Vikings speak Icelandic and you can too with Save Icelandska Icelandic alphabet flashcards. So if that's confusing, basically the product is a set of flashcards that help you learn the Icelandic alphabet. And the name is Save Islenska. And I guess Islenska is the Icelandic word for Islandic. <laughs> um, is it still an alphabet? I guess it's still an alphabet, even if it's a very unique one. So um, what's the deal here? Well, basically, Icelandic, the modern version of what Vikings used to speak, um, is on the decline. Uh, according to Wikipedia, there's only about 320,000 people who speak it. Uh, and less and less, as this, these guys mention, um, as you know, smartphones and TV and whatnot replace books, kids are growing up listening to English and obviously, I think, especially using websites and electronics that probably don't have an Icelandic uh, language option. They're basically using it less and less, which means in the next 200 years or so, it's probably going to go extinct or, you know, just be something that academic study that's not actually used in the real world. So anyway, let's take a quick look at the video, if it will play for me. Wouldn't it be great to talk to a Viking? Why not take the first step with Hola. us? See, Vikings spoke Old Norse. So this is the language now, stuff I just explained. Sir Fox have created a way to make learning the Icelandic language fun and easy with these adorable and engaging Icelandic alphabet flashcards. Each one features a letter of the Icelandic alphabet. So interestingly enough, I guess there are uh, 36 letters in the Icelandic alphabet as well. Three times. Eight is 32. My fault. My math is shit. Um, so anyway, they go through the whole detail. The roots of old Icelandic began somewhere in the ninth century. We don't need to know all that. century or two, the sagas of Icelanders was written, and they formed the foundation of the Icelandic literary tradition. What becomes of that history if no one is able to read it? Some estimates report that Icelandic will disappear in about 100 to 200. Oh, no. So anyway, um, they basically talk about this is, you know, this is a for-profit company, but they are kind of on a mission, I guess. Um, help them make money while saving Icelandic. Um, and they're pretty upfront about it. So they talk about, um, you know, why they're doing it. And in this case, there's actually a really nice backstory that's not included here. The video is actually very well done, almost too well done. Um, what really got me is the story about the couple that created it so they're in here somewhere um basically where are they here we are so it's an icelandic dude why is it popping up slow there we go so nam here is from thailand and phoebe is uh icelandic and they have a kid now and so i guess as she was trying to learn icelandic um and he was, I guess, trying to learn Thai. They sort of learned about language and the difficulty. Um, yeah, Phoebe tried to learn Thai from alphabetic f flashcards. Um, but it was difficult. And so I'm sure the other way around. So especially because there's little in the way of learning material. So they basically addressed that. Um, so they started making um, this company where they could create uh materials from their experience that's actually pretty cool uh we want to raise a viking baby yada 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 so it's sort of for their kid they're being proactive uh one of the cool things is that i like is that they're not asking for a lot of money they're being pretty realistic about this thing um you know actually the printing cost for this you know even if you're not making a ton of them is probably only a few dollars uh you know once you've recouped your cost the actual printing cost not too much 
uh, designing and, you know, uh, creating the layouts and whatnot, not necessarily that cheap, but the printing costs shouldn't be too much. So what I like is they're not asking for a ton of money, um, 18 US plus shipping, I guess depends on where you're shipping it to. That's not crazy considering that you're helping bring something rare to the market that you know there's not going to be a lot of demand for. Um, they also have some cheaper things if you just want to support, including some basically downloads of their alphabet artwork, etc. Um, and they've got, you know, details. They have this other weird thing, which is they're bundling these kind of completely unrelated but kind of interesting learning material uh, product, which are kind of electrostatic post-it notes that will basically stick to almost anything. And you can write on one side like a post-it note, and the other side is kind of like a wipeable, smoother surface. So you can use it like a whiteboard, apparently. Um, yeah, so it's like a whiteboard sheet. And you can get all kinds of little packs of these as part of it. And so for some reason, it's kind of unrelated, but I guess they thought it's useful when you're learning because then you can label, where is it? You can label shit. There it is. For your learning technique. So that's actually pretty cool. Anyway, so um, 18 bucks for that. Plus you can get the combo with the magnetic things. Um, I wish, yeah, here we go. So they actually, for 75, you get the flashcards plus this extra stuff. I would just focus on the flashcards. Um, the paper seems like it's nice, but not, you could just, use, you could buy a lot of post-it notes for that much money. Um, not a lot of comments, basically zero. <laughs> Updates wise, apparently they were on TV, which was interesting. Um, I'm sure, um, the wife was probably very nervous. Uh, so anyway, I don't know how you get, uh, I guess, oh, that's Nam. It's probably, that's her. And they live in Kikjerbeerjarkstator. So anyway, this is not anything, you know, it's not rocket, rocket science. It's not going to cure cancer. Um, it's pretty focused. And, you know, I wonder how many people who get these cards will ever master much Icelandic. But, you know, at least people who are Icelandic might want to buy it. If you're one of them, go buy it. Um, and even if you're not, um, there's cool. They've got other shit like these pillows and stuff. I don't know why. Um, kind of almost too complicated, but needless to say, just buy the flashcards. Uh, okay, so thumbs up from me. And, oh yeah, they even have like urgent and. Orned is a duck. Er, earned. I guess it's earned. Anyway, that's my Icelandic. For you today. See you guys next time here on Go Kick Me. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter at Go Kick Me and also GoKickMedia.com. See you guys next time. Bye.